Football was really big in our family. I didn't play when I was younger because I was too big to play with kids my age. So long story short, I didn't end up playing until high school. And I told the story when I got inducted into the Patriots Hall of Fame. My mom, she took me to my first football tryout. The first kid that I saw, he had a beard. I'm just looking at her like, nah, I'm not going. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, you getting out the car today because this is what you wanted to do. You are going and you are going to play. You know, I, I still tease her about that to this day, but, but believe it or not, I knew I was destined to do it. Congratulations, oh, thank you, thank you. It's gonna be hit, gonna be sacked, and Richard Seymour. Because I had the passion, I had the love, thought I had the ability. I, I mean, I didn't know where I compared to other guys that played my position, but I knew I had the passion and the drive. 42 years ago, when he was just a baby, I had told you that all these things were gonna happen. What would you have said when he was just a year old? Oh, I would say, no way, no way this is going to happen because of Richard's legs. He had to wear orthopedic shoes for a long time. It was just not in the cards for him to play any type of sport, so the doctor said. But Richard overcame it and became a great football player. I think I can look back and reflect now. Um, you know, because as a player, you never look back. Back to throw, here's the rush, he's hit, and he's gonna be sacked. Richard Seymour all in on the sack. And trust me, the Hall of Fame is great, but it's not something that I can control. There's nobody like Richard Seymour. There's no, well, this guy's like Seymour. No, he's not like Richard Seymour. And uh, they just don't come along. They're, they're a generational type player. People who are around you every day, right? Like, what do they say about you? You know, that's, those are the real things that I embrace, you know, feel validated by. Come on, let's talk. Save I was legitimately surprised when I saw him. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know why I'm here. Oh, hey, hey, it's my honor and my privilege. It made it extra special. When Ty was the one to come and knock on the door and you know, we had a journey together. I was just out of my wits that, that particular day. It was just, I was jumping for joy. I think I may have been more excited than Richard was. Everybody was happy. So all my life I've known Richard, really. My friend that I've been raised up with around here, I know somebody that actually went to the Hall of Fame. Being that close, it was a good experience and I was very happy for him and his family. When a student like Richard comes back and say, I'll never forget what you did for me when I was in school and what you've done for me. I want you to present that. You don't know how that made me feel. I mean, I felt, I went home and told my wife, I said, you know, it's almost like your life worth living. It's a tremendous honor. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's the elite of the elite. And, and, you know, so, like, I'm honored to stand alongside the greats of the game. I know I'm the one going in Canton, but, you know, it's so many people that have done so much for me. Um, and it's really for them. <laughs>